So we're working on uh, Buddy Blake's 2017 GMC Sierra 1500 half ton 4x4. And uh, the back bumper has had an incident or two. It's gotten a little twisted up. And today we're going to upgrade it with something a little beefier. So he has picked up uh, a Go Rhino BR20 rear bumper. Um, got the paperwork here, but part number is uh, 28171T. And that fits uh, Chevy GMCs from, I'm guessing, this newer body style, 2014 all the way to 2018 at least. Um, so, yeah, we're going to put that on here today, see what all is involved, and uh, add a little attitude to the back of this truck. So the thing comes in a box. It is, I don't even know how heavy it is, but it is super heavy. And uh, just cutting all the plastic cut away from it here. If we can. All right, so first things first, we got to get the old bumper off. Let me slide underneath here, take a look, see what is actually holding it on. So, looks like it's got some bolts that go through the side of the frame rail here, right behind the leaf spring shackle. We got a couple of bolts there. And then it must tie in around the trailer hitch, I'm gonna guess, somewhere. For looking at things. So we'll take off these side frame bolts and go from there, see what we can make any headway. Okay, so we've taken those, the bolts off that are right behind the leaf spring shackle and it's actually like a bolt plate. So we pulled the two nuts off, pushed these plates off towards the inside of the frame on each side. And now we continue on our journey looking for other hardware that's holding this bad boy together. All right, so apparently you got to loosen the bed to get the bumper out. The bracket actually goes in behind this back lip of the box of the truck. So in order to loosen the box of the truck, there's eight bolts that are holding it on. The first bolt, if you look, this is the trailer hitch right here. Looking up into the frame, the first bolt, that one that's way up in there. And these are 18 millimeter heads. And there's four of them along each side, so eight total. So there's one there. Then if you go back here behind the hitch, there's another one through the hole of the frame there. If we come outside the truck, get in front of the axle. You can see the other two. The very, very forward one is on this long, tall tower right here. You can see the bolt up there, leaf spring bolt, and move back just above the leaf spring here. You can see the last one, the fourth one. Um, so, you need to, I take the back, I'm taking the back two out all the way. The other six, we're just gonna loosen as far as we can. We'll put them back in just one turn so the bed doesn't slide around on us and move off when we're trying to, uh, lift the back end up to get that bumper out from underneath there. All right, so now that we got all of the box bolts loose, uh, we're moving on in here. So I'm on the back side of the trailer hitch. This is your trailer hitch. And right above it, you can see those tabs there. I just removed, there's a 13 millimeter bolt that was coming from the top down. And I'm gonna remove the one on the other side as well. And then, uh, See if that loosens up our back bumper, if there's anything else holding her together here. Okay, so now I've got you, we're, we're inside the frame. Here's, again, trailer hitch. We're underneath the back of the truck. So this is the driver's side of the trailer hitch. If we look, this is our bumper bracket. You're looking at the back up. You can see where that plate was, where I took the that bolt plate out that had the two bolts. So we follow that bracket up. You can see there's a bolt coming in there. And from the outside, that actually looks like it's in the top of the uh, spring shackle hanger on the back. So I'll show you that. And then on the bottom, it looks like that comes down and also ties into that bolt there, which is this big bolt at the very back of the trailer hitch. So we're going to remove that bolt there on the very, the most rearward bolt from the bottom of the trailer hitch. And then we're going to remove this bolt here that looks like it's on that shackle hanger. So um, we'll get those taken off on both sides and it looks like that should be it. Hopefully then it's just gonna be the electrical connector for the uh, license plate lights 
and the uh, trailer hitch wiring on plug here. So. so those were the final bolts. Once we got those off, the bumper is loose, um, wiggling all over. Now we got to lift up that box and see if we can kind of hold it up while we twist the bumper out from underneath that back lip. So we're going to uh, get a couple guys here, lift up the sides, and we'll block up the back of the box to hold it temporarily while we slide the bumper out. All right, so this is the back side of your seven-way trailer hitch plug. Um, so what I did is actually took um, my pry bar here and pushed on the tabs right here on the side of that, pushed on each side as I was pushing with my hand and was able to push to get that seven-way plug out of there. And then um, I'm not sure um, how the wiring is gonna work for the trailer hitch or for the license plate, I'm sorry. So the uh, we're gonna wait here just a minute and take a look at the new bumper and see what of the uh, license plate harness we need, if anything. Um, so we're just going to set this old bumper out of the way for now and uh, start looking at the bracketry and what's going to happen here with the new one. So, she looks kind of naked without a bumper on the back, but we're making progress. Okay, so um, the next step, we installed the first of the brackets here for the bumper. So, um, in that rearward trailer hitch location, you reuse that factory bolt with a new washer, lock washer, and nut that they provide you. That comes up through the bottom. We've put them together just very, I mean, it looks tight, but it's not. Um, it literally is just finger tight, as tight as we get it. And then the original nut plate, the double bolt goes back in and with the original nuts on the outside. So for just setup purposes, we've kind of pushed these all the way forward and we've installed both sides. And now we move on to actually bringing that behemoth of a new bumper over here. And See if we can get it set up on these brackets. All right, so you're definitely gonna want some extra hands because that bumper is heavy. We got it laid up there, got those brackets in place, and um, it actually slides, part of the bracket is the, the pull point. Um, so the bumper slides right over that pull point. Got it slid over that, got it all into place, of course, leaving everything loose, and uh, you were able to, uh, Let's uh, not kick it on the uh, flash here, but able to get the bolt started and uh, just kind of um, the bumper is resting on the trailer hitch there. And then we let it uh, kind of even itself, you know, played around until we got that gap nice and even side to side, top to bottom. Now we're going to get underneath here and tighten down all the bolts. All right. So I got to be honest with you the tabs they use to hold the seven way plug in kind of suck. Um, this thing does not want to like snap in tight. Um, you could fairly easily pull it out. We kind of bend and pried the tabs around and around until we got it fit in the best that we've been able to. A um, little disappointed in that. I, I would think that it should snap in nice and tight and that's just not the case. But um, next, moving on. Right now, uh, Blake's working on trying to get the license plate lights. Um, got a, so the, they give you these little LED deals and um, there's threads on the back side and then the wire's coming out. So you gotta slide the nut up the wire um, through and tighten it on, but then they'll shine down on the license plate to act as the uh, license plate lights. So working on that. And then um, we have the bumper itself tightened up. However, um, we still have to tighten up the box. Um, so we gotta go back through and grab all those 18 millimeter bolts and tighten them up. And then uh, currently he hasn't splurged um, for uh, the backup lights, but they do have a recessed area here that you're able to put some custom backup lights in there if you'd like to. So but they have a delete plate that we're gonna go ahead and get those delete plates tightened up. And uh, yeah, moving along, should be cool. All right, so we're going through the long, tedious process of tightening um, where those little filler plates are. Uh, they've got little Allen socket screws with nylock nuts on the back. So Blake has been doing that, which he's probably got a solid 10 minutes into that side. Are you done yet? Or is this, got to yeah, the left side. Yeah, so 
like solid 10 minutes into tightening that little goofy plate up, but got that. And um, I am working on installing um, the last of the bolts back into the bracket. So where we had removed the that factory bolt on the rear leaf spring um, shackle mount up at the top, the 15 millimeter. Um, it comes with new hardware. Uh, again, you know, not lock washer, flat washer. Um, so we're putting those bolts back in and then we're getting the box all tightened back down, you know, making sure that it's all lined up good and uh, which it is. And so, yeah, yeah. So after, uh, after this, it'll just be a matter of wiring up those new little license plate LED lights. So I've taken the factory wiring harness from the original license plate lights and cut it and cleaned and stripped off some wire on each end. We got uh, some heat shrink style butt connectors, so we'll get those crimped and sealed up so the connections are weather tight, and we should be good to go. Just like that, bumpers all on, wired up, fits good, looks nice. Got some recovery points, Casey decides to go and get himself stuck. Turned out really good.